So you have a cell, and inside the cell, you have another collection cell, collection view. Yes. It's a table view cell with a collection inside of it. And you load the data for that embedded collection view from within the cell? Yes. Directly. OK. Mm -hmm. So is there a problem with that? Well, ideally, the view shouldn't perform requests directly. Mm -hmm. That's the recommendation. Why? Because the views now are coupled with the provenance of the data, where the data is coming from, coming from an API. What if you want to load the data sometimes from a, another API? How are we going to do it? I'm going to add some logic here, another a Boolean, you know, yeah. when those requirements arrive, you say, OK, what if you wanted to load it from a local cache in some cases? Mm -hmm. Um, in some cases, for a specific type of product, we have embedded the data. Now, you're going to have to add more logic to the view. But sometimes you need to use API 1, sometimes API 2. Oh, if it's a product coming from Amazon, it needs to be this. If it's a project coming from eBay, it's another API. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. then you start adding a lot of logic to the view. And it's going to be very hard to test. And how Actually, how are we going to yeah, test it? exactly. That's... It's going to be very hard to test. Mm -hmm. You either have to perform the real requests when testing, which will make your test slow and fragile, right? What if the server is more responsive at a time? What if you don't have internet connection? What if the connection is slow? Or you will have to stub the whole network stack globally, which will make the test slower, more mm -hmm. fragile because you're dealing with global state. You also won't be able to run the test in parallel since you're dealing with global state. Because if you change global state, you affect multiple tests that are running in parallel. So your test suite is going to be slower. Mm -hmm. And you have, have to stop things globally. Yeah. And, and that's the problem. You either are going to put a lot of logic in the cell or in the API implementations that you use like directly here, even like sometimes through a singleton, you know. Yeah. Common as well. And your tests also will be hard to write and maintain. They'll be slow and more fragile. Mm -hmm. And those are the, the downsides of doing this directly in the view. Because you're coupling the view with the provenance of the data. Yeah. OK. It's just with separation of concerns here, right? Like just you know the UI, you, you just want the render stuff. <laughs> That's it pretty mm -hmm. much. Leave the networking or whatever, you know other service type of things in other layers. And by the way, you're going to learn again, all these things, you're going to see them in detail in the program, how to decouple you know, okay. the UI from services and from strategies, might be the network, mm -hmm. might be local, might be something else. Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah, so those are recommendations, right? Is there something absolutely wrong? Like, those are very strong recommendations from People have done this in the past, like we've done this in the past, and we, you know, we got mm -hmm. terrible results out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and we follow people, they also ad ad advise against it, right? So those are guidelines. We're saying we best would be best to move this somewhere else. And mm -hmm. the data, the 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 views only deal with data and render it. It's very, very simple logic, very easy, simple to test. You take a snapshot out of it. For example, imagine you want to take a snapshot test out of this. How are we gonna do it? You actually need to wait until the request completes, and then you take a snapshot of the of the screen. You know, so it makes everything slower and harder. Mm -hmm. So recommend you move this logic somewhere else, and the view only deals with data directly. Just render. Hey, view render this. The view is like, hey, it's done. It's much much simpler. In that case, moving the the API requests for the table view itself also wouldn't be a good solution. Yeah. No, the table view, no. Mm -hmm. One level above, outside the view. And then you can provide the data from anywhere. When you're testing, you just literally instantiate some products and you pass to the view. And you can also say, oh, sometimes I want to load from the cache. No problem. Without changing the view, you're not loading from the cache. You're loading from a different API. As long as you give it some product, it can render it on the screen. 
-hmm. where the products are coming from doesn't matter the views shouldn't be coupled with the provenance of the data mm -hmm.